Hey there guys and welcome to another Factorial Mod Spotlight, I'm Exterminator and thank you for joining me. Today we are going over the Crafting Efficiency Mod. Uh, this one is quite interesting, it pretty much entirely affects the crafting, as you could probably tell from the name, of uh, a lot of intermediate and a few final products uh, in the game. So, to elaborate a little bit more, uh, you know, you have your vanilla recipes as they are. Uh, but then with this mod installed, there's research you can do that allows you to change the ratio and efficiency and yield of these different recipes. Um, now to clarify, this doesn't get rid of the vanilla ones, it's in addition to. So, um, you know, it's not like it's going to re just replace the vanilla ones, um, it's in addition to that. And after looking at it, it's a bit interesting. It seems that there's um, some trade-offs for them that we'll look at here in a second. Um, now as a quick note, before I get into it, if you do decide to install this, uh, you need the Omni Library mod as well for this to work. Uh, and it, that mod itself is linked in the information page on the mod portal for crafting efficiency. It's like the first one linked in there. Um, so you can just grab that. That's the only one that's required. Um, optional ones are like Bob's stuff too. But um, we'll just hop into this. So first off, we go on, like I said, we have vanilla recipes. Uh, then there's research you can get for multiple things. So let's start with like Iron Plate. Um, so this is unlocked through automation and electronics, and there is a total of 13 tiers of them. Uh, but this is where it gets interesting. So you unlock these, you can see, you know, the first one is 201 science, 339. The incremental, the amount of science is a little bit strange. You can probably change that in the settings. There's a ton of settings. Um, the last one, to give you an idea, is about 5,000 of each uh, pack. Uh, but if we look here, so... We know normally the vanilla recipe and iron uh, is two iron and you get one gear and it takes half a second. Um, this one gives you 13 iron gear wheels for 20 iron plate um, and it takes 6.321 seconds. These numbers are very strange, um, but this is slightly more efficient, right? Because in the vanilla recipe, it's a two to one. You give You get one gear for every two iron you put in. And this one, you're getting a bit more gears than that, um, obviously, because if it were the same as vanilla, you'd only be getting 10 gears instead of 13. Uh, and then the second one is a little bit different. Um, the crafting time is less, and you get less, but it's for less iron. So, again, this is still more efficient. Um, actually, this is... Yeah, yeah, this is still more efficient. I'm sorry. Yeah, so you would be getting... If this were equivalent to vanilla, you'd be getting 5 gears for the 10 iron, but in this case, you're getting 8. Um, the craft time is, of course, a little bit higher. You know, I'm not going to go through every single one of these. But you can kind of get the gist here. So this one, for example, is really good because this uh, is 20 iron plate and gives you 19 gear wheels and takes 8.9 seconds. Whereas this one um, took the same amount of plate but only gave you 13 gears. Um, the other one takes a little bit more time. Um, but so, so this is, if you like figuring out ratios and builds, this model would be perfect for you because you can math you could map this all to heck, right? You could just map this out and be like, well, you know, I get a little more from this one, but it takes a little more time. Is this actually worth it? Should I be using this or that? Um, and you, like I said, you can change all this in the mod settings, which I'll show you. So, you know, you can look at this. Um, so there's that for copper, same thing. Um, there's for circuits, red, green circuits. Um, so like this one gives you 13 circuits for 10 iron and 30 cable, um, you know, opposed to the vanilla one. Uh, and then like this one is a little bit different because this gives you eight circuits for five iron and 15 cable. Um, and you know, and then you can just keep going down and they keep changing. So like this one again is kind of equivalent to that, but takes a little longer, but gives you more circuits. Um, so like the last one would give you 37 circuits for 10 iron and 30 cable, but it obviously takes a bit longer. Um, so you can map that out and see um, there's, you know, one for processing units. There are also ones for science packs. As you can see here, here's purple. So we'll just search for science. Um, and here's red. So a red pack we know takes five seconds vanilla, takes one iron or one gear wheel and one copper uh, and gives you one science pack. This thing uh, is a little bit more efficient um, resource wise, but takes a lot longer. It takes nearly 30 seconds, but you get one extra science pack for the equal amount of ingredients, right? If you're putting five in of each in vanilla, you would get five packs worth, but this one you get six packs worth. Um, this one, again, you get seven packs worth. It takes even longer. Uh, this one takes uh, longer yet, and you get eight packs worth, so on and so forth. 
Um, so the time is increased, but you get more. So, you know, if you start offsetting this with modules and beacons, this could actually be very good. Um, or maybe good, you know, I didn't math every single thing out, but you're welcome to. Um, or this one. So, like, here, here's, you know, these change a little bit. So, like, um, this guy here gives you four packs for just one iron and one copper and takes 17 seconds. So it takes three times as long, a little more than three times as long as vanilla recipe, but gives you four science packs for one of each ingredient, whereas the vanilla only gives you one. Um, so you can, you know, you can look at all this yourself, but that gives you an idea of kind of what this does. Um, now, lastly, I want to show you these mod settings. Uh, it's on startup. So I'm not sure that you can change these mid game because usually startup, yeah, I mean, startup, Settings can't be changed while a game is running. Um, you may be able to change these and restart your game and then have them apply in your save game, but I'm not sure. I don't think that works that way. Um, but you like so everything here is all for this mod from here down. Um, you know, you can change the yield amount, you can change the base research time required, base research cost, uh, standard yield increase rate, you know, for stuff, science pack yield increase rate, copper cable tiers. Um, you can so you can change the amount of tiers for each thing. Um, as you can see, there's it's for engines, batteries, steel, plastic. Um, you can even disable science pack efficiency research entirely, um, so on and so forth. So there you go, guys. It's a pretty interesting mod. Um, you know, if you like uh, kind of like remaking your builds or you know mathing things out, redesigning your base and stuff, um, then this mod is definitely for you. Uh, so there you go. That's pretty much it. Link below to the mod portal. You can check it out. Don't forget that if you do want to use it, you'll need to grab Omni Library, which is linked on the mod portal page for this mod. And uh, I believe that'll do it. If you have any questions or thoughts, leave them below. But until next time, I'll look forward to seeing you all and do take care.